Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any negative thoughts that pop off when I hear. Team, this is Nathan from RunTreeMachieve.com. Today's topic, I want to go over how to run a 5K in 16 minutes. And it is definitely uh, breaking 16 minutes for the 5K is a huge personal uh, goal for a lot of athletes around the world. I know it was for me when I was in high school, and it didn't. It took me until my senior year to finally break the 16-minute barrier uh, as a high school senior. I ran 15.46 on the roads. Uh, my personal best in cross country when I was a high school runner was 16.16. I only ran two years of high school uh, cross and really didn't know what cross country was until my junior year in high school. But um, I do know that to run... Uh, under 16 minutes, obviously you have to be in phenomenal anaerobic shape. It's 509 per mile for 3.1 miles, or 312 per kilometer for five straight kilometers. So it's very important, the shorter the distance, the more anaerobic the event. So you, yes, you have to be consistent with your mileage and building your endurance, but you also have to focus on building that strength and stamina that, that you need in the 5K distance. Again, the shorter the distance, the more speed plays a role in the event. And, and so being able to handle higher amounts of lactic acid buildup as you're racing is an art form. It's not something that you're going to learn strictly from running long, slow, and easy uh, each week. It's, it's obviously very important to focus on the quality of the volume that you're putting in each week rather than the quantity of the volume. I think a lot of athletes, including myself over the years, got we all get caught up with how much mileage per week we're running. And, you know, I had to learn that lesson the hard way. You know, I got up to 142 miles a week training for the marathon, thinking that high mileage was going to get me better results. And it turned out that I ran my personal best for the, the half marathon, the 10 mile half marathon and marathon distances really off of about 80 to 90 miles a week. So it's not about the volume. You know, when I was up at 142 miles a week, um, you know, I didn't do that consistently, but it just left me tired, lethargic and, and frustrated because I just wasn't getting the results that I wanted. And so I know you've experienced this yourself as a middle to long distance runner. Um, you think that, you know, training harder is, is gonna guarantee you results. And it's really about training smarter. And so when you're training for a 5K, you have to be very cognizant of, of proper pacing in the race. If you want to break 16 minutes, you know, going out the first mile in 455 might not be the best option because, again, you want to hold 509 per mile. Again, you can go out faster the first mile, and, and again, you have some leeway in those last two miles. But it's much smarter to go out 514 to 517 is the smarter way to go. Again, because you're 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 running a little bit conservative in that first that first mile, you're holding back a little bit, and then planning your attack. You know, I always ran I ran uh, my fastest 5Ks on the roads and on the track when I didn't make a move until I hit the first mile. So I think that's a good strategy that you need to start thinking about, especially if you if you have a tendency to to run a little too aggressive in the in the first mile of the race and you're having problems sustaining uh, sub 60 minute 5k race pace for those last eight laps. It's hard to do sometimes because you get hyped up and, and everybody takes off the first mile, but nobody is going to win a 5k in the first mile unless they can sustain sub 16 minute 5k race pace for those last you know eight laps. There are, obviously there's a lot of runners around the world that, that have broken 16 minutes, so there's no reason why you can't either. Um, if you're further away from the race goal of this goal that you have in mind, then it's going to take you some time. So you have to be patient with the process. If you're, say, a, a 17.40 5K runner right now and you want to break 16 minutes, it, it may take you a little bit longer than somebody that obviously that's run, uh, that has a personal best right now of 16.15. They're, they're a little bit closer. So my best advice is continue to focus on training at or close to 509 mile pace. Again, if you're, even if you're much further away from breaking 16 minutes, you can still spend a few seconds to a, f a couple minutes at under 509 mile pace in training. You know, that might be repeat 300s on the track or repeat 400s on the track. Spending time training well below that 509 mile pace and getting accustomed to what that feels like on top of doing longer tempo runs. You know, if you're a 5K athlete, Imagine doing a tempo run and branching that tempo run out to six miles. You're doubling the distance of your race distance. 
and running, you know, slightly fat, slightly slower than, than gold race pace. Okay. If, you know, nobody's going to jump into doing a six mile tempo run for, a, for a 5k in the first couple weeks of their buildup, you know, and, and plan on running that, that's those six miles at, uh, at a pace of say around five, uh, 50 per mile. I mean, it's going to take some time. So first start off focusing on doing tempo runs, say in the early stages of your buildup at say two to three miles in distance, and then working your way up to around six miles. That's what I would be focused on doing because again, you're doubling the distance of your, your goal race and you're going to be running at your, at your anaerobic threshold, which isn't quite at your 5k race pace you know 5k race pace it's really you're closer to running at your maximum heart rate so you're training you're really racing at your vo2 max in a race of this distance again the shorter the race the more anaerobic the event so more oxygen is going to be required out of you so if you're training for longer periods of time at your anaerobic threshold you're building that stamina that you're going to need in the 5k distance Okay, obviously focusing heavily on speed development, doing strides, five to six 100 meter strides, two to three times per week during or before or, or during or after your easy workouts. And what I always talk about the importance of strides when you're especially trying to run under a 16 minute 5K is you're running at sprint paces or close to sprint paces. And it's great because you can still do strides, not build up any lactic acid, and you can still do those types of workouts on top of your track sessions, your tempo runs, and your long runs, and not building up any fatigue in, in doing strides. So strides are very important because they're acceleration drills. Again, it's it's critical that you're you want to build you want to eventually build up more fast twitch muscle fibers. You may not be able to do that in doing chest strides, but you are gonna be able to build more fast twitch muscle fibers uh, when you're doing speed workouts. That might be, you know, when you're doing repeat 200s, repeat uh, 800s, repeat thousands on the track, those really fast anaerobic efforts where you're at near sprint paces, those types of workouts will help you build speed development, improve your body's lactate tolerance and improve your your capability of sustaining sub 16 minute 5k race pace longer than your competition. Again, it's also a mental game. So you have to prepare mentally rehearse and, and see yourself breaking the 16 minute barrier. It's not just about the physical training. You know, I always talk about this all the time in other videos. If you're a new uh, uh, watcher of my videos, definitely go back and watch the other videos I've made. I always touch on the importance of mental preparation and seeing what you want to do before it occurs in real life. You know, it took me time. You know, I started running uh, when I was in high school, running 17s. Then I got into the 16s. Then I got into the 15s as a high school athlete, uh, running 1546 and 1553. In college, I ran a 1519 on the track for 5,000 meters. And then eventually as a professional athlete, I ran 1418 on the roads for 5K. So it's a process you have, we all have to experience um, the, the ebbs and flows of our preparation. Um, so don't lose sight of what you want to do. Your a sub 16 minute 5k is no joke. I mean, it's extremely competitive. It's, uh, it's a type of time that a lot of athletes wish they, they could run and wishing and, and wanting are one thing, but disciplining yourself, putting in the consistent work over many months, many years until you get to a point where you can break sub 16 and you can finally run 1559 or faster is going to take somebody with an immense amount of discipline, focus, and motivation. And I know you have it. Otherwise you wouldn't be watching this video. So key things to take away from this video and breaking a sub 16 minute, uh, the barrier <clears throat> one VO two max workout per week where you're training at closer to your mile to 5k uh, mile to 3k race pace um, again via one vo2 max workout per week lengthening the duration of your long run getting that that or not only the long run but also lengthening the duration of your tempo runs where you're training at your at your anaerobic threshold the point where we start to build up lactic acid again teaching the body to improve lactate tolerance and to be able to sustain pace longer than your competition is the end goal Okay. Again, the shorter the race, the more you have to pay attention to your speed development and focusing on 
um, being able to stay in control and staying as relaxed as you possibly can at sub-maximal or maximal effort. And so focusing on those speed workouts each week is critical, extending the duration of your tempo runs, getting it out to around five to six miles in length. Again, don't be in a rush and don't think that you're going to just start doing five to six mile tempo runs immediately in the first couple weeks of your training. A, a, a proper buildup for a 5K is preferably anywhere from 12 to 16 weeks. You know, do a, a, a first four weeks of easy, relaxed jogging, just build your, you know, just to strengthen your, your muscles and your tendons, and then start focusing on a 12 to 16 week buildup for your 5K. Do a 10 day taper rather than dropping your volume and your intensity three weeks out from your main 5K race. It's very important. You don't want to go into a 5,000 meter race feeling tired and, and lethargic. You want to feel energized. You want to feel rested. Okay. Focus on other events as you're building up to your, your 5K race. If you want to break 16 minutes for 5K, also focus on doing some longer races. Focus on doing some shorter races like the mile or 800 where you're working on your, your overall leg turnover, but also focusing on those races that are longer in distance will build your endurance, build your confidence, and will help you eventually get under this goal. So I hope this video is helpful for you. Uh, give me a like if you can uh, and share this video with as many athletes as you can. Uh, it helps the channel grow and more athletes around the world to see these videos. If you have any other questions regarding how to run under 16 minutes for the 5K or any other topic related to your preparation or racing, leave it in the comment section below. I will definitely reach back out to you. Uh, definitely check out the resources that we have on rundreamachieve.com. And uh, if there's anything else I can help you all out with, you know I'm here for you. So I wish you all the best and I'll talk to you in the next video.